Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining then hello, hi, my name is Floyd. Welcome to the Foyhead and I'm gonna be your YouTuber for the day. So today I'm kicking off a little baby vlog on Fenty. Just this is just about Fenty. This is about Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin, which is launching in South uh Today is Thursday, by the way. It's launching tomorrow, but tonight I'm going to the official launch party and the after party hosted by Arc Stores Official. <laughs> So it is literally 6 o'clock, the event starts at 7, and I back myself to be able to get ready in an hour. And it is at my favorite establishment, Monarch. Ooh, Monarch. So I feel like I have more than enough time. So I quickly want to go through an unboxing and just talk a bit more about Fenty landing in South Africa. So as you guys know, Fenty launched in way back. But it's only in the year of our Lord 2022 that we're finally getting to experience it in the African continent directly. Um, we don't have to go through corners anymore. And it'll be stocked at ARC and another official retailer. And I'm going to show you quickly, I'm going to unbox what they sent me. Um, I've unpacked some of it already, so please bear with me as I concord myself. Um, however, I'm going to start with this really cute. How cute is this little travel purse? It is so nice. It is... It's like neoprene um, and it has embossed Fenty on it and it just looks super cute. And that's just a warning label so that I don't choke on it. So yeah, this is a cute little bag that it came with. One of the products that it came with, which I thought was quite interesting, is this Brow MVP, which is a sculpting brow wax um, pencil and styler, which is really cool because right now I was thinking about trying like soap brows or I wanted to just get something to like kind of stick my brows down. I was trying to get into that type of mechanism again. So this has like a wax stick um, on the one side where you like brush your brows up. And then it has this patented Fenty style spoolie on the other end so that you brush your brows through. I've used this product before, which is why it's dirty. And I do my brows after my fa my foundation, so that's why it's brown. So that's one of the products. Um, next, I got sent one of these kilowatt highlighters. It's afternoon snack and mo honey. And this is what it looks like. And I feel like I have one of these shapes. Let me go check. No, I don't. So I have a mini baby hustler, which is quite a similar shade, to be honest. It looks kind of like Mo Honey. But this one is quite a bit lighter, so I like this color. And as always, Fenty got the pigment going on. They sent me a gloss balm in the shade Fenty Glow. So when I bought it for the first time, it was called Universal Gloss Shade. So I actually know what it was called. So they sent me another gloss balm. So with that mini baby hustler, I got a gloss balm. So that's how I... I haven't used that thing so sparingly. I've barely used it in the few years that I've had it. Years. Years. Because I didn't want to finish it because I didn't want to get another one. Because I think I bought that when I traveled to Dubai. Which was so long ago. Let's not talk about it. Anyways. Then I got sent one of these Cheeks Out um, Cream Blushes in Strawberry Dip. But this is the color that it looks like. It's a really pretty color on my skin. And yeah, it's super cute. I got sent another Pro Filter Foundation. So this is in the shade 445. So if you're my shade twin, I got 445. I actually even want to try 450. All I know is originally I bought 440. And that shade works. It does work. But it does run a little bit too red on me. So I prefer this one because it's a bit more neutral. And it still maintains the depth. Um, 450 is a little bit darker. And I personally, because of all the highlighting or whatever, I personally like to use a darker foundation. So if I get another one, maybe I will get the 450. Um, but I do want to try... I, I think I want to try the Skin Veil. But I don't wear like light foundations. But maybe I should. I don't know. Let's try it. Um, the next up was this Full Frontal Mascara in the shade Because I'm Black. Because I am. And this is what the bristle looks like. It is not the same width throughout so it's flat on some edges um to help you i guess get into like your lower lash line etc it's quite a nice mascara i do enjoy using it um what else did they send oh my gosh i literally can't remember i think i think that's almost it i may be missing a product or two but that's just because like i said i've already packed things away but the one thing i do want to talk about is the skincare trio so i'm really excited about this because there was a lot of controversy when this thing dropped and I was also very skeptical of it. So I'm excited to be able to finally use things myself. And one thing I will say is I enjoy this total cleanser because it is like an oil cleanser. So I am a really big fan of oil cleansing to remove my makeup. So this is honestly not going to be a real cleanser for me. This is going to be a makeup remover. So, um... I think I want to get like a big size because I really, I do enjoy using it as a makeup remover. The fat water, I'm not too sure about it, but I don't actually have like, I have like the BHA tonic from Ren, but beyond that, I don't have any toner right now. So I'm willing to give this a try. I know there was controversy because this has fragrance and um, 
no, this has witch hazel in it, and I think it was also quite fragrant, so people reacted to it. So I'm gonna give that a try. And the SPF, um, the Hydro Visor Invisible Moisturizer Super um, SPF 30. So this one, I didn't really have a problem with it. I didn't get any um, like white cast. So this is a really cute travel size. I think I'm, I like this for travel. Like I'm gonna take this with me to Europe next month. Inshallah, it's gonna happen. Anyway, don't ask me about it. Don't ask me about it. I don't have a visa right now. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take this with me because this is a really nice travel size SPF. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is all I've received from Fenty. Um, but yeah, it dropped on the 24th of May. You were able to do pre-order exclusively with ARC so that you can receive it on the 27th. But then tonight at midnight, Thursday night into Friday night, as in 11.59 on Thursday, 26 into midnight, because midnight is very tricky, yes? So tonight, Thursday night into Friday, um, they're doing midnight shopping. So I'm going to have to be awake until after midnight today, because I'm, I'm going to be at the store partying with you guys, um, as you will see in the vlog. Because this is going to be retrospective. Um, I have to, I have to, yo guys, I haven't gone out, I haven't drank, I haven't done, I haven't been a social butterfly in so long. I, I'm nervous to do it. This weekend's going to be a very big weekend for me, but that's not the point. The point is Fenty today. Um, so yeah, let me go do my quick Fenty face, because you know I've got my own Fenty products going on. So I'm going to just dial out a face real quick, and then I'm going to show you my outfit, and then we're going to head to Moniz's. Oh yeah, they bought Go um, Gogzin Camon Bella, I think pretty sure and uncle waffles to come perform at the launch party art by hector is going to be there so i didn't get to go to like the media brunch um today unfortunately but it's fine it's all good still gonna go party tonight and after party with arc and i think i am gonna pick up some stuff in store and i think they have a special where you get like 15 percent off 1500 if you order so like i would also order online because it's a good deal it's a good deal anyways let me let me go be beautiful Okay, now that we are beautiful, the honey has risen, um, I need to quickly just style my hair, put on some jewelry, and get into my outfit. It is 6.48, this was like a 45 minute face, and she's, she's cute if I do say so myself. So let me go put on some clickety clothes. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. This is the dress that I wore on my birthday, and I'm wearing heels. Yes, I'm wearing heels. Wow, guys, amazing, incredible, giving leg added on this shacket, this leather shacket from Shein, ponytail, and um, let's go to Monarch. Yeah, it is. 
Hi guys. <laughs> we are coming to Ark finally Hi guys, to have welcome back to, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna go have a little oh after party at Ark and then do some midnight shopping. <laughs> I forgot to finish off this vlog so this is a week later and I'm just gonna give you a little lowdown of what happened <clears throat> and my goodie bag before my camera dies this is just a little welcome message from Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin so this I actually swapped with Aisha um, because I was given the body scrub but I actually really enjoy this total cleanser as a makeup remover so my oil cleanser from Lilieva just finished so I enjoy using this as a oil cleanser they sent me the liquid kilowatt highlighter I have two of these uh, lipstick cartridges but I don't actually have the lipstick case because I didn't know I was supposed to fetch one at the event so now I just don't have one um, so I just have like lipstick but no lipstick inside here is the gloss bomb heat in hot cherry this pink tinted lip gloss then there's the gloss bomb in Fenty glow which is the universal shade I make it this way because I actually have a few of these and uh, yeah that is it so in terms of color range stocking pricing blah 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 fenty beauty pricing has come in very much on par with its peers so it's very much huda beauty it's very much um like lancome it's very much bobby brown it's very much luxe beauty category price range which is fine the one thing i will note is that fenty skin is kind of expensive and um the concealer the concealer is the most shocking thing price wise for me because the foundation is like 650 or 660 and then the concealer is like 540 so i'm i'm pretty sure like the huda concealer is also like 450 or 60. ignore the slight angle change my camera died quickly and i had to charge it for five seconds so i can continue anyways the point was um the concealer it is quite in line with like huda and all of them i just found it so crazy that like such a smaller amount of product was a hundred and less than a foundation but I do really enjoy the concealer it is something that I would buy again and it is something that I encourage people to try just because it has such an interesting formula like I, I remember when I bought it the first time it has almost just like gel like consistency and it was something that I'd never really experienced at the time I think NYX can't stop won't stop was maybe the closest similarity in formula that I'd um experienced but even then it was a bit different and now you can't get NYX in this country either so yeah price wise it was a bit um, that was maybe the only product that I've been like, wow. Um, yeah, the glasses are like 300, 400 rand, but like, it's peers on the same price category. So, objectively, I can say it is quite pricey, it is quite an expensive brand, but it's also a luxe brand. Luxe brands cost that much. And I, I say that specifically because it's like, they cost that much. Fenty isn't astronomically out of the ballpark. This isn't one of those 
you're just not the target market, don't complain about the prices things. This is more just a fundamental understanding of what Fenty is positioned as in this country. And speaking of which, oh, my hands are so dry, sorry. I was just spreading laundry. Um, I'm low-key bothered by Rihanna's messaging when it comes to launching in Africa because she keeps saying it's making it accessible, it's making it accessible to everyone across the globe, making it accessible. It's not. It's making it inclusive to everyone across the globe it's making it inclusive to all these countries but it's not accessible it is very exclusive because of its price point if you want to talk accessibility we need to talk about price and price excludes people and sometimes that's fine products have different price categories but let's not lie and say that it is inclusive because it's not so that was like my only thing because i know i noticed on tiktok a lot of people are like accessible babe we can't afford it and i'm like Fair enough, she shouldn't have said accessible, she should have said inclusive. Um, but nonetheless, I am very excited to at least like experience a lot of the Fenty products that are new and coming out because Fenty is one of the only like celebrity brands that's actually doing innovative makeup stuff. House Labs is coming out with some cool stuff, but as in like most of them are just like eye neutral eyeshadow palettes, maybe a foundation, a concealer, brow pit. Like, they're just covering the basics. They're not innovating or creating anything new. And I feel like Fenty has brought us a lot of innovative tech in the makeup space. So I am very excited for what they have to offer and the fact that we can access it easily on time with the rest of the world. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy about Fenty. So... I don't know, if you guys have any other questions about the brand, I'll try to answer to this my ability because I was just an influencer for the campaign. I do not represent the brand, so I do not wish to speak for the brand. But I'll answer any questions that you do have about the products that I have, my uses, my recommendations, what I think you can skip or miss, um, and things like that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, and I'll catch you guys next time.